Please welcome Emily Mortimer, everybody. Nervous, actually. You're nervous? Why are you nervous, dear? <laughs> I don't know why, but all I know is I'm very sweaty. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're, you're just glowing. You're glowing. I felt sorry for the poor sound man that had to sort of go under my armpits to attach. Oh, them. no, no, no. He's very happy about it. Trust me. <laughs> I know him. He's not, you know, he's, uh, actresses come in here every night, he's in there with wires. <laughs> yeah, he's very happy about it. It's all right. You don't like doing the talk show, is that? Um, well, you get sort of seduced by your own vanity into answering questions about yourself. It's very tempting when someone seems to be very interested in you, but then you feel a bit... No, I am very interested. <laughs> now, you're not from here, are right? you? That's not a Los Angeles accent, I hear. No. Where are you from? I'm from London. From London? Yes. <laughs> well, well done on making it over. <laughs> Thank you. you. You live in LA now? I do, in Echo Park. Echo Park? Yes. That's an interesting place Or Little place to Tijuana, live. as we call it. Yeah. How is Echo Park to live in? Isn't it quite... It's fantastic. Is it really? Yes, Echo Park's the best. You actually see people on the streets. There are ice cream vans and... <laughs> Children and... Ice cream uh, vans and children? Yes. In Echo Park? Yes. <laughs> All right. That's nice. Is this the Echo Park, Los Angeles Echo Park? Yes. Yeah. All right. Um, are these children buying crack from the ice cream vans? <laughs> or, or what? No, I... I no, now, listen, you come from... Uh, I, I actually met you once briefly before. Do you remember this? You were in Glasgow. I you do. were shooting a film I with was. Ewan McGregor, who's yes. a friend of mine. Yes. And, um, I was about to be smothered in custard by him. Yeah, he, and, uh, <laughs> and that... Yeah, and that... He, does the, he did that to me as well, but it wasn't in a film. It just, you know, he does that to everybody. Don't... No, he doesn't. He does. No, he doesn't. <laughs> He doesn't. And you were making a film called Young Adam with him. I, I remember because it was a very rainy night and I met you, uh, you and said, and this is Emily, I'm working with her. I said, oh, hello, Emily. And then it was raining and we all ran away. I know. Yeah. <laughs> that was nice though, wasn't it? It, it was, was nice lovely. when that happened. <laughs> so when did you come over here? Um, well, I met my husband about five years ago. And is he an American? He's an American actor called Alessandro Nivola. Oh, right. Not a very American name, but there you go. Oh, there's a picture of you both there. Isn't he lovely? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And now we have a baby called oh, Sam. Congratulations. Thank you. Is that, is that boy Sam or girl Sam? A little boy called Sam. Little boy. And he, what age is he? He's 18 months old. 18 months, so he's moving then. It's mobile now. Oh my God. Yeah. Is he moving? So what, what age was he when he started walking? One. One, yeah. Milo, my son, is four now. And then when, when he was one, bang on. I know. And suddenly all that containable, you know, or the mess that they make, it was all containable, and then now, everywhere, everywhere. <laughs> but now, do you take your little kid to mummy and me classes? I did do, I did go to the mummy and me classes, yeah, I, I stood out a bit, but I was there. <laughs> um, do, you take, do you take Sam to mummy? Yeah, and me? I had a nightmare experience of one, because, you know, when, before you have your baby, you think there's going to be all this great feeling of solidarity between mothers and parents and then you then you realize that actually everybody's incredibly competitive and judgmental and they're all yeah. you go to these baby gym classes and they're all outdoing each other on how well their children sleep and how yeah. brilliant they are and how they only eat organic food and yeah. no sugar and so i tend to keep quite quiet but um, I, I, and my little kid runs around and then I go home but there's one day I just couldn't resist boasting because he'd come first in a well we call it a fancy dress competition but you call it a costume party yeah, well I, I, I call it a fancy dress <laughs> well, you don't yeah. but you do yeah. anyway he'd, he'd, I'd taken him potato to... potato potato yeah. <laughs> I'd taken him to my babysitter's boyfriend's high school where he worked and dressed him up as a little um, tiger and, and drew a nose on and whiskers with eyeliner and he won. Fantastic. He That's came lovely. first and he won a piece of pizza, a slice of pizza and he <laughs> ate the whole thing. <laughs> and it was 
That's lovely. I'm, I'm guessing that... Uh, I'm guessing that the runners-up well, each also got a slice of pizza too. I it? hope not. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it was the most victorious moment of my life and I couldn't help myself from boasting about it the next day in the Mummy and Me right. Baby Jim session and I was just talking about, you know, this great moment in my life and my son came first at a high school, you know, costume party and, um, and I saw as I was talking to these mothers their faces slightly fall and then this look of abject horror come over them. And I turned around to see where they were looking, and there was my son, my then 15-month-old son, trotting through the middle of Baby Jim with a packet of 20 Marlboro Lights held above his head. <laughs> and he'd been, he'd been rummaging through my handbag to look for his pacifier and pulled out a packet of cigarettes. Oh. But he didn't light one up. He, no. he wasn't smart. No, no, that's all right. That's all right. <laughs> but they were so appalled, no one even laughed. I just had to go and put them back and sort of pretend it hadn't happened. <laughs> It's just the cigarettes shocked them in L.A. Like, cigarettes? In L.A.? No! I know, I think if he'd been carrying a small machine gun, it would have been slightly less shocking. <laughs> Might be handy in Echo Park, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You're a lovely girl. Thanks for coming and talking Thank to us. Thank you for having me. Emily Waterman, everybody. Dear Frankie opens in Select Cities this Friday. We'll be right back. Mortimer, Emily Mortimer. See you. I'm very delighted to be here. It's very nice to have you here, and you look awesome in your black outfit. Unfortunately, our lighting is bad, so no one will see you. That's what I. <laughs> that's what I was hoping for because I, I I just had a baby, and I've got about 25 pairs of Spanx uh, underneath this, underneath this. I black have too, and I haven't just had a baby. <laughs> Actually, my shoes are rather small, a tight fitting. Well, yes, when you get pregnant, your feet get larger. Yes, so uh, that, it took all my powers of concentration to get out here to see you tonight. Really? Not, not fall over. Do you want to borrow my... What size are your feet? Is Seven that Seven and point? a half slash eight. What size are your feet? Seven and a half slash eight? Yes. Should we do a swap? No. No, I'm afraid <laughs> your shoes wouldn't fit me. <laughs> what size are your feet? Enormous. <laughs> they are. Except one of them just shrunk. What does that mean? It means I'll be walking in circles for a while, probably. <laughs> now, I think it means you're not very delighted to see me. No, au contraire, <laughs> he said in French. <laughs> I am delighted to see you, and I'm delighted to see in the clip that you were working with Michael Caine, who I adore. Me too. He's very nice. Oh. <laughs> That's very good. Um, yeah. Did you have a nice time with Michael? He's been here many times, you know. I really liked Michael. He's he's the most excellent actor, as we all know, but he's, he's very good at acting. He's a really good actor. Yeah. <laughs> he's a la la. good actor. He is! <laughs> He's also a bit of a giggler, which is which he you might not know about him. Mm, Maybe no, I tickled him a couple him. of times. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know what I like about when Michael Caine's acting? There's no messing around pretending that he's got someone else's voice. No, it's just himself. It's him. Yeah, it's, it's, it's his like, voice always. Oh, you get over here. <laughs> To, I, at one point in the film, I get into a car crash and I had to get whiplash. And the stunt guy told me that if I had whiplash, I would have my hand up against my neck all the time, supporting my neck. And I, kept, I was so tough that I was going to forget to put, support my neck in the scene. I went through the entire day for the next two weeks with my hand up and my neck. And whenever, and I, you know, I was drinking tea, having sandwiches, talking to everybody with my hand up my neck. And whenever Michael came into the room, he was like, Will you take your bloody hand off your neck? <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, it came to the point where I actually had to do the scene with him with my hand up against my neck, and we both just couldn't stop laughing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you just had a baby? I did. <laughs> 
that's lovely. Congratulations. What did you have? I had a little girl. Oh, that's delightful. What's her name? Okay, her name... <laughs> I didn't forget, but I'm nervous of saying her name. Her name is May. Her oh, do you, do you not want to say her name? Her you... name is May. Right. But now I have a. F I think May is a beautiful name. But it's a lovely name. Do you? Beautiful yeah. name. I get the feeling that in America it's sort of not quite so cool as it is in England or something. Because when I say people say what's her name and I say May, expect and normally, but like with my first baby who was called Sam, they'd say what's his name. I'd say Sam. They go Sam. Yes. And then I say they say what's her name. I say May, and they just sort of are silent and look slightly. <laughs> really? <laughs> what people are we talking about here? Who are these bastards? General. <laughs> The general public. Do you Gen walk around, people. well, if you just walk up to people and say, I just had a baby, her name is May, people are going to go... <laughs> no. they don't know what to say. Well, I think maybe now I've got nervous when I'm asked the question like I was just then. Well, you shouldn't be nervous. I, it's a beautiful name. It's a beautiful name. It's lovely. It's, it's uh, springtime and... <laughs> Hope. And hope, yes, <laughs> and lovely weather and uh, uh, things like that. <laughs> Sounds really nice in Scottish. Sorry, right. I mean a Scottish accent's nice. Well, most, most girls' names sound good in a Scottish accent. <laughs> Say it, got May. 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 Mm -hmm. That's that's great. Yeah, no, Maybe I should say it in a Scottish accent when people ask me what her name. That's a great idea. You should say when they say what's your name, you say well I you I can only tell you if you will say it back to me in a Scottish accent. <laughs> can you do a Scottish accent for one word? May. <laughs> Now, riddle me read this. You have become an American citizen now, haven't you? Yes. Congratulations. <laughs> well done. So have you. I did, yeah. Did you get your tattoo yet? What? You must get a tattoo when you become a citizen. <laughs> really? Oh my God. Exactly. <laughs> Is yes. that what happened to you? Well, it didn't it happen. I had to go to the, uh, <laughs> I had to go and see Doug at Shamrock and he put it on. That's what happened. What is it of? It's, uh, it's actually of a, it's of a snake uh, cut into pieces. It was a cartoon uh, that was... Uh... <laughs> you look like I just said my daughter's name was May or something. <laughs> But what's the point of it? Yeah, I mean, Benjamin what, Franklin what? did it in 1754. Oh. It has some historical significance for uh, Americans that are interested in history. <laughs> okay, but can you still remember the answers to all the questions you had to learn off by heart? In fact, in fact, can anyone hear? Does anyone? Well, most hear? of the I've found that most of the Americans that were born in America don't know. I have no idea. You don't know the answers. Yeah. You don't know the answers to. How many amendments are there to the Constitution? Oh, yeah, exactly. And would that be something if someone asked? <laughs> but that's when you know you're a true American, when you forget that crap and go on with enjoying yourself. Just the pursuit of happiness, that's what you get into. <laughs> exactly. I, I don't know if I'm quite ready to say that amendments to the Constitution are crap. <laughs> that, was, that was probably speaking out of turn. I, I, I retract that. Yeah, they're, they're all right. Yeah, well, they're, they're amendments, yeah. you know, they put them on for a reason. <laughs> but there are 27 of them, I know, I remember the answer. Are That's there? the only one I remember. Wasn't there, what was the 18th Amendment? <laughs> Ooh la la! I don't know. Well, <laughs> wasn't that Prohibition the 18th or was that the 21st? Ah, uh, yeah, a bunch of Americans then, <laughs> I say. Yeah, there was Prohibition, it was illegal to drink here for a long time. Well. That must have been fun. Oh, uh, I, I don't know, I don't remember it. <laughs> We should talk about this movie, really, quickly, yes. very quickly. Is it good? <laughs> no. It is. It's got no. Michael Caine in it. It's really good. It's really, really good. It's very, it's, um, he is a total badass in it, and, um, and which is quite good considering he's, he's I don't know how old he is, but he's, he's, he's not, uh, he's, he's almost not a spring 50. chicken. <laughs> yes. Exactly, um, and and it's an amazing performance by him, and it's a really. You're probably good too. You're good in films. I'm not that good. In films. Oh yes, you're very good. I'm I've seen you with your acting. Sometimes <laughs> in your acting, I'm like, who is she now? <laughs> <laughs> I think Do you sometimes just act for free? <laughs>
I think I'm a bit depressing in it, to be honest. But, oh. but the, film, the film itself is good. In fact, I can remember. I do that sometimes. It's embarrassing talking about your bigging yourself up, isn't it? Yes, isn't it? I, that, luckily I don't need to. <laughs> That's why I keep things nice and crap round here. No danger of getting big-headed. <laughs> anyway, I, I, I often I t I tell people that I'm not very good at acting because I don't know what else to say. Well, they say, they say, so what do you do? And I say, well, I'm an actress. And, they, and then there's a silence. A bit like when I say it may. May, may, yeah. <laughs> And then I fill the silence by saying, but I'm not a very good one. Well, and it goes down very badly in America, especially because people don't really get that it's sort of, uh, you know, what's the word? <laughs> <laughs> they self depreciation. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so I, I think they, they get it. Yeah, well, they just think, well, we're weird. Why are, you, why are you talking like that? Well, some people think that. <laughs> other people don't think that. And then other people go, what? <laughs> And then the owls go, what? <laughs> We're completely out of time. We have to sell, um, what is it tonight? The chamois? <laughs> <laughs> Emily Mortimer, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs> Emily Mortimer, everybody. Lovely to see you. I haven't seen you in a dog's age. I know. I, I went. The, the researcher said it hadn't been for some time, and I said it was before I left Los Angeles, which was about ten years ago. And she said, no, it was three years ago. So Yeah, no, we haven't been on the air ten years. Right. We won't be on the air another ten days, I don't think, after that. <laughs> but, but she warned me, oh, my God, it's there, the horse. Yes, it's all right. It's, it's perfectly friendly. <laughs> it's very disconcerting. No, no, no. no. <laughs> He's fine. He means he means well. Look, I feel he's like, bowing to you. Oh God! I feel like he's going to charge at me. No, no, no. no. Charging is extra. Um, she warned me about the horse and the robot. Well, the robot's fine. It's Where is the absolutely. Robot? Yeah, I'm yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's just doing that. No, you're still English, I see. Uh, yes, I think so, yes. Yeah, we, we were just talking about Downton Abbey earlier on, and then Jeff and I were pretending to be English. Were we any good at it? You were brilliant. Uh, you're brilliant at everything you Oh, did. stop it. <laughs> I don't know whether I saw it, but I know that you were brilliant. Well, you were I, right there. I was just worrying about what I was going to oh, say to you. Oh, don't worry, don't worry, it's all right. I tell you, oh, oh, oh. Uh, no, no. <laughs> no. I won an award since you were here last. What did you win an award for? I don't know. <laughs> Your brilliant English accent. Yes, that's right, possibly. Do you do accents in other, uh, in other uh, shows and things? Uh, sometimes. Really? What yes. do you do? What's your favourite? I can do a Russian accent. Can you really? Yes. Can you speak Russian? Yes. Really? Yes. Go. <laughs> the accent, I can say, I, in a Russian accent, I can say, I had a boyfriend who was Russian and all he could say in English was, Hello, my name is Tony Dakota. I am an astronaut from Minnesota. <laughs> and I fell madly in love yes. with him. Of course. Yeah. Immediately. Yes. Um, but uh, what, what, do you want me to say something? Well, what about, can you say, can you say hello? something very rude. Lots of very rude No, things. you can't, unfortunately, because they're on to us with that. We used to, uh, <laughs> we used to say, uh, naughty words in other languages, and we snuck a few out, and then, they, you know, they brought in interpreters and Google and all sorts. And, uh, <laughs> all right, I'll say something. But you speak Russian. Have you been to Russia? Yes, I live I there. I love Russia. Where have you been to? Moscow. I've um, been there, yes. Did you see Lenin in his tomb? Yes, I did. I saw Lenin. Doesn't move much. I oh, thought they would. Be... <laughs> no, if it was, if this was here, you know, they'd animatronic him a little bit so he'd wave or, or get up and go. Hey. Yeah, I, I thought someone said that someone said it was in the guidebook or something that someone had seen his ear fall off as they walked past. Yes, I don't believe that though. Do you? 
I did. But I don't know. I mean, he, if you've been lying in a sort of mausoleum for 50 years, you would th think your ear might fall off. Well, I don't see... The, there's a big rumour, a conspiracy theory, that it's not him at all. Oh, really? Yes, it's played by an actor. An, a living... <laughs> A living actor? Yes, an actor who comes in, oh he's like, morning, God. George, morning, Ted, and he comes in and he lies down and he's like... <laughs> and then when they close at the end of the day, he gets up and goes home. I wonder how much you get paid for that. Uh, it's a living. You know. <laughs> It'll do. Have you ever been to St. Petersburg? I have, very I beautiful. Love, that's, what a beautiful city. It's, it's like, stunning. It's like Paris, but, you know... Yes, or Amsterdam, or yes. all of those places. Yes, no, it's great. Really, really very beautiful. I, I loved it there. Ooh. <laughs> Let's I go. I just remember it. <laughs> that was very, very nice indeed. What were you doing there? Were you acting? I was, um, I was studying, yes. I, I went, um, as part of my degree, I went to study Russian in Moscow. I studied Russian and English at university, and then I went for a year to Moscow. But by, by then, I already had decided I wanted to be an actress. And so I went to the Moscow Arts Theatre and studied um, acting there. And I fell madly in love before I met the Russian... Uh, guy that could only say my name is Tony Dakota I'm an astronaut from Minnesota yes. I, I fell madly in love with the guy that was teaching me acting who um, didn't notice that I was madly in love with him and I didn't notice he was incredibly boring because he was so handsome <laughs> that uh, I think that's happened to some women before you, actually. That yes. They thought I, someone was handsome and they, met, they thought that meant interesting as well. Yes. It, it happened for many months. I thought he was so wonderful because he was so good looking. But then he came to my house with a lot of other people from the school and we all got very, very drunk. And he took me out onto the balcony. Uh oh And I thought, my God, this, my moment has come. Here we go. Here we go. Come. Yeah, yeah. And he started sort of declaiming and looking at the moon and talking about the moon in a sort of romantic fashion. And I was standing behind him and I was so drunk. And I suddenly realized I needed to be sick. But I... You were pretty drunk. <laughs> but I didn't want to leave because I thought, I can't leave. This moment has come. And I, he's talking about the moon and there he is. And so I was very quietly sick into my hands. <laughs> and he kept going. But he was so delighted with himself that he didn't yeah. notice. Didn't notice the girl behind him was vomiting uh, uh, quietly into her. You, did you? <laughs> no, no. I took it to the loo. Oh, you took it away with you? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> That's lovely. What a lovely, enchanting, romantic story. I'm of, uh... sorry, I'm sorry. I blow it. No, the no, it's fine. Listen, the newsroom's great. Jeff Daniels is in it. He's very funny, isn't he? He's awesome. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. he's very funny. I mean, he's not funny in the show, obviously. Well, he he's is. Funny in the show as well. He was well. just funny on the Yeah, yeah, he was funny there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's not, I don't think, it, I mean, he's very... Um, Charismatic and yes. slightly um, bonkers. grumpy. Bit grumpy? Bonkers. Is he grumpy? No, on the show. Like, if you were sick into your hands, dear <laughs> Jeff Dan, he'd be like, what are you doing? <laughs> Uh, he'd be very forgiving, I'm sure. But Are you, I, is, there a, is there a phase in life that, that you go through where handsomeness is enough, but then you have to add to it? Like, uh, you know, you're attracted <laughs> to a handsome young actor, but then later on you think, well, I'm going to need more than just being able to talk to the moon. <laughs> yes, I think so. See, because I think for a lot of people, th it's fine just to stay there, particularly the, the men who are talking to the moon. <laughs> they, 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 they never get past it, they're like, <laughs> hello. <laughs> it's rather fun. <laughs> but you've got it all. You're handsome what? and funny and very interesting and very clever and extremely successful. <laughs> are, you, are you going to be sick or something? <laughs> Don't do that. We have to, we have to take a break. We'll be right back with Emily Moore tomorrow. We'll be right back. when I said to Emily, oh, uh, we were just talking and then she said, I said, we're back, and she said a word that you're not allowed to say. <laughs> I could say it in Russian. No, I can't. I well, can't. you could say it in Russian and they would bleep it in American, but uh, I don't know what it is in Russian, so can just go ahead and say it. Well, it's complicated. What's that coming to go?
that that's a whole phrase. Yeah. What's that coming to go? But that's terrible. That's terrible. Does anybody know about that? No. Okay. There's going to be a lot of Ukrainian. No, there's people. no because they'll beep it anyway. Okay, just okay. because you know, okay. so the Ukrainian people are like, why? We came here for freedom of speech. <laughs> They got some bug in their ass at the moment about me and my language. Oh, they do. Apparently. Well, have you got a foul mouth? I am. A, I am a little bit cussy as a as a man. Um, I'm. I swear far too much. I, I, I think it's quite a British thing, though. I think British people swear a lot. Yes, uh, and we use it as a term of. Uh, we use swearing as a kind of way of being affectionate with each other. Right, but I'm an American now, so I can't do it anymore. Are you an American citizen now? I am. Ah, oh, well, then you've got to stop. But I only learned very recently, about three or four years ago, consider, uh, considering I've been here many years, from my mother-in-law that I cannot say the word that we cannot say. Don't even think it. Well, because she said to me something like, what's this person like? And I said, well, they're very nice, but you couldn't say that, that word. That word, yeah, of, yeah. She said, oh, and I went, oh, my God, you all, I can't say that word in front of you. And right, yeah. You but you know what word you can say is fanny. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Fanny's absolutely fine, right? Fanny. Fanny is fine. Now, the thing is, Fanny in Britain is no. like, oh, 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 no. <laughs> you mustn't say Fanny. Well, you can say Fanny as long as it's someone's name, but when you start saying what it is, you get a frosty reception. reception. <laughs> Anyway, that that's uh, so it's you know you can say Fanny. Do you did you ever see that? that you could say I was talking to my touch my, my leg again. Touch Sorry. my leg. Ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> now pull my hair a little bit. No. <laughs> I was talking to my hairdresser who is uh, well a hairdresser a while ago after I had this conversation with my mother-in-law about the conversation and he's Scottish. Right. And I was saying and he was saying yeah no it's crazy and in, in Scotland particularly it's a term of infection. It actually infection. is a term of infection. And yes. you would say I love you you. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you say it here, they call the police. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you know, different strokes for different folk. It's all right. I know, it's all, all right. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Love all the people. No, but what I was telling... Oh, sh like, shall I... No, tell me, tell me. In the commercial break... Was it a commercial break? Sure. <laughs> no, it was. It was, it was, it was. He said, how are you enjoying being in America? And I was about to... I was telling you this story about my little girl in the back of the car the other day who was singing along to a Disney song for, am I allowed to say Disney? Yes, you can say Disney. <laughs> Although it is a cuss word in certain parts of America. <laughs> um, are they going to bleep it out? No, no, they won't. Uh, anyway, and she was singing along to this, uh, the theme tune from Sophia the Princess or something. Where right. she, and the, and it, I can't sing, but the words were something like, I'm, I can be anyone and I can do anything and I can see anyone and I can be anything and I was thinking God isn't that interesting if you were a child in England singing that song you you'd sort of be shot people yeah yeah we would, uh, <laughs> people would be, be anything we'll see about that yeah you, I, people I, would be disgusted yeah people would vomit into their yeah. <laughs> it's I always thought if Billy Joel had been Scottish right yeah. he would have sang bottle of red bottle of white you think you're great, but you're bollocks. <laughs> Does it hurt? Oh. That's been bleak. Yes, I mean, well, they know it's, you know, it's something that rhymes with white. <laughs> right. So that's it. We're, we're out of time. We're done. Oh, good. What do you mean, oh, good? <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad you're here. You look absolutely enchanting. Thank you so much. I mean, really lovely, wonderful. It's kind of like, it's kind of sophisticated, and then, uh-oh, we're on Star Trek. <laughs> I hope it's 
not blinding people. It's it's very it draws the eye. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm very creepy this evening. I, <laughs> normally, I'm not. <laughs> How I you? wish you wouldn't tear up the card. Why? It, well, it makes me feel like the funny stories I've practised aren't going to be Have you practised any? Well, no, it's fine. Watch this, watch this. So, uh, have you practised any funny stories? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I can't do it like that, you see? I can't oh, do it. All right, Look, I'll read you something off the cards. We get stuff No, no, here. no, Hold no, no. no. Uh, far away. Anything you want. All right, then. Uh, how uh, much do you think I weigh? <laughs> 205 pounds. Actually, I think it's a bit more than that, but I... Uh, but I, well, geez, I, I thought know. it was very modest of you to add on ten pounds to the weight that, because you could have said anything. I could have, but then people can't see. <laughs> and also, the camera adds, you know, ten pounds. And there's what one, two, three, four, five cameras in here. That's fifty pounds. <laughs> Do you ever women worry about their weight a little bit? Actresses oh my god, constantly. Really? Yes. Well, you look great. Do you do the Pilates? No, the Pilates? No, I do a sort of weird dance size class. Really? Not cardio bar, is it? No, oh. I don't know. It's, it's, I can't even remember what it's called. I don't do it very often, but it's cool because it's, it's dancers from Broadway shows and they come, like the man from Wicked, he's, a, he's in the chorus line of Wicked and right. he comes and he does sort of, and you follow along with him and you feel for a second that you might be in Wicked. And... Um, <laughs> And uh, then you hope that, you lose weight. I don't know whether... I, I, I think it sounds very exciting. I'd like to do it. I, I would like to put my name down to be part of the Dancing with the Stars of Broadway. OK, good. You can... Exercise class. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. It sounds a bit like jazzercise, a little bit. I think it is, but is that ja not cool? No, jazzercise is cool. It's come completely round again. It's now cool. It's like wax moustaches and... Um, yeah, I wax moustaches <laughs> like that. Do you know what? I wish I hadn't torn up the blue cards now. I know. Oh, don't I'm worry. You. Tell me about your show, Doll and them. Um. Um, Doll and them. <laughs> I love it. It's great. But uh, tell them about it, though. <laughs> Uh, okay, so Doll and M is about what happens when you make your childhood best friend your personal assistant. And the answer is just a complete disaster. You mean hiring your friends never works out? Well, in our show it doesn't anyway. Well, no, it, it's never worked here either. <laughs> That's why I always work with my deadliest enemies. <laughs> <laughs> is that is is the 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 actress in the show is your best friend? Yes, Dolly Wells is my best childhood friend. I've known her since I was four years old, and um, and where did we you two together. grow up? We grew up in London, England. Yes, I thought I detected a trace of that. <laughs> Which part of London, England? Um, West London. <clears throat> mm, yes. Hammersmith uh, and Kensington. Oh, Kensington's very nice. Isn't it? <laughs> yes. If I had a butler, I'd like him to be called Kensington. <laughs> Did you have a butler? No. I Are you sure you're English then? <laughs> no, and uh, neither did I have a personal assistant, but I ima we imagined what it would be like. We just said it's a funny sort of grey area, the thing of, of, of assistance, because it's, it's, they're there in your life so much, but then there's a moment where they have to sort of uh, clock off and it's sort of nobody quite knows when... Say that again? <laughs> I don't know what's going on between you two, but it seems very sexy. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what it is. <laughs> did you ever, uh, did you, well, so you grew up together? Did you work together the whole time? You've known each other the whole time? No. You're both, oh. Uh, well, <laughs> we, well, I'd invented a story there. It's obviously wrong. You no, got, we didn't, we didn't, we, we knew each other just as very, very close friends until about 10 years ago. And then... That's when we decided that we should write something together. But ah. it took us 10 years to do it. Um, but really, at the beginning, it was just an excuse to hang out with each other a lot because I moved to America and she was still living in England and we were running up extortionate phone bills. And so we had to lie to our husbands about why. And so we pretended we were writing a film script. Ah, I see. And then you had to go actually and, go ahead and write it. Well, then, but, yeah, but... Because it, your husbands claimed it on their tax forms and therefore... <laughs> 
Well, it took 10 years to actually go ahead and write it because it was just getting really embarrassing because people were asking us about it and we hadn't done anything. We'd just, and we'd also flown to various locations all over the world to be together to write this thing and ended up just gossiping in coffee shops and not doing anything. And then suddenly it was just bizarre because we'd had two children each. We'd had four children between us in the time it had taken <laughs> to write this thing and there was no script. It was like the script that, that Jack Nicholson is writing in um, The Shining. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, so uh, when you were together, did you ever go to a deserted old hotel and see, uh, you know, <laughs> blood and stuff? No, but we, we hung out everywhere, all over the world. When she would come to where I was filming and I would go to where she's an actress in England, although now she's moved to Brooklyn, just around the corner. Oh, from uh, did, you, did you move back east? Yes. I thought you lived here. I, I used to live here. In the and now you've moved back to the east coast? Yes. How's that winter working out for you over there? <laughs> It's horrendous. It's just confusingly it? cold. I don't understand. It's it's really crazy. Yes. I was. I mean, it, but it is global warming, isn't it? I mean, what is it? I don't know. I'm not a scientist, but uh, <laughs> I was. It would seem to me there seems to be climate change afoot. I was brought up by my father. Used to on holiday. The two conversations we weren't banned from having was talking about our mosquito bites and global warming because he found them both such boring topics of conversation. So I've been trained not to talk about global warming, but I'm feeling sort of it's bubbling up inside of me because I've, I just see it everywhere. <laughs> and it's, it's very, very... Well. It's well, you can talk about global warming here. This is a, this is a well, safe is place to talk about. <laughs> Is it boring for you? No, no, not at all. This is what I do when I'm giving people therapy. <laughs> well, thank you. You're helping me through a difficult well, moment. Well, you know, the thing is... It's but what are we going to do about it? About global warming? Yes. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible. My sister in England has been flooded for a month of, of, of four inches of water every day coming into her house. Yeah, that sounds terrible. It's terrible. No. <laughs> you don't seem to really think it is. But I, I, I do think it is. I just don't I know what to do. I should be building an ark or something. Somebody should be doing something. <laughs> Amen. Let's do it. Let's, let's build I got an ark. Amen. <laughs> yes. Yes. We'll be right back after these messages, everybody. I'm here with Emily Mortimer. We had a great idea, you know. We, we, we got some hammers. We're going to build an ark. <laughs> Eddie the props man brought out a couple of hammers. I didn't want him to feel bad, so, you know, I mentioned it. <laughs> Unless you want to actually start building an ark with a hammer now, or hit me really hard with it. No, ni neither. Uh, I would be very good at <laughs> Well, I'm relieved to hear it, young lady. <laughs> so, uh, we're out of time. Oh, uh, we are? Oh, that's a relief. We finished. Hey! No, no. I could stay here all night. All right, well, there's only one thing for less for you to do, and that's to hold me in one place and guess my weight. <laughs> no, no, don't do that. Uh, <clears throat> well, unless you want to, of course. Um, no, would you? Re no. Um, <laughs> we, uh, we could uh, meditate, or we could have an awkward pause. I want to meditate. I want to show you a meditation trick. Okay. I needed matchsticks, but actually, you know what? I can do it with these three pens. Those pens there. Wh which pens? These I need pens? three of them. Three, three pens. Yes. These? Can we use these? Are they all right? It's not advertising Al Qaeda or something, is it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is a very serious meditation technique. All right. Can we put some meditation music on? Yes, but as long as it's quite quiet. Uh, okay. <laughs> Okay, now you've got. To, I'm doing it on you. You're going to do it. Uh -oh. So you're going to put this between your knees. Reminds me of something. Ho hold it between your knees. Okay. And then you're going to touch these two uh, lids onto that third one there in a Y shape, and you're going to close your eyes and you're going to start to hum. <laughs> do you mind doing that for me, Craig? Yes, I'll do that. Go on then. <laughs> Mm. Keep your eyes closed, keep going. Mm. <laughs> louder, louder. Mm. <laughs> now you know what an elephant feels like riding a motorbike. <laughs> we'll be right back.
understand you. No, I would love to, too, but I can't. <laughs> Complicated. You're a lovely woman. Do you have a boyfriend? No. No. Why are you saying that? I'm saying <laughs> Because I've been... Because they're hairy and they get stuff on your clothes? <laughs> no, there's a reason to buy pretty clothes. Right. Well, what's... Well, well, no, I don't have a boyfriend. What else? What else is going on? <laughs> Uh, you, uh, what are you looking for in a young... Are you looking for one? You're not, not interested right now? One. Um, I, you know, I'm always looking to be surprised. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Are you asking me out? No. <laughs> oh, no, that would be very bad, yeah. Uh, that, would be, uh, that would be a little bit... Um, I'd, what else can we do? I'd get killed, yeah. <laughs> oh. What? Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, I mean, I could be your granddad. 